Hi there, I'm the Neuromuscular Mechanic, and today we're going to be talking about ultrasound-guided biceps tendon sheath injections. As a disclaimer, all the ultrasound videos today are of my shoulder. Um, so when we talk about these injections, they're used or can be used for bicipital uh, tendinopathy. Um, and when I approach these injections, I tend to have a checklist. So I want to make sure I have the right patient position, I'm using the right transducer, that I have an idea of surface localization so that I know where to put my probe to start. I need to identify certain structures with my pre-scan uh, that we'll talk about, and then knowing what my target should be and where I should inject. And we'll go through this checklist. So patient position, I prefer the patient supine. Their shoulder should be in neutral rotation. I often have their forearm supinated. I have the probe, again, in transverse or short access, and typically I'm injecting from lateral to medial, although you can inject medial to lateral. With the transducer, because this structure is superficial, I'm often using a high-frequency linear ultrasound probe to get the best resolution. Um, then when we look at surface localization, you can palpate the long head of the biceps tendon based on your clinical exam, and then you can put the probe right over that area in transverse plane, uh, which will typically, which will be the anterior proximal humerus. Pre-scan, I like to identify the overlying deltoid, the humerus, and with it the bicipital groove, where we generally expect to find the biceps tendon. And then it's important to identify the ascending branch of the anterior circumflex artery, which typically runs in the lateral aspect of the bicipital groove, which is important to avoid with your injection. And then the target, generally, again, I'm going in plane from lateral to medial. I'm injecting to the biceps tendon sheath, so not in the tendon directly. Typically, I'm guiding the needle superior and medial to the tendon, medial so that I'm avoiding uh, the artery that again runs laterally. When I inject, I, I, I expect a target sign, so fluid to fill around the tendon, creating a target sign, and that fluid should spread distally uh, to, the flu to the tendon. So here I've identified the biceps uh, tendon, and what I'm going to show here in a second is that external and internal rotation of the shoulder can change the location of the groove. And that's why often it's best to start with the shoulder in neutral, in neutral rotation. So here I am doing internal and external rotation on my shoulder, and you see that that location uh, can change. As part of the pre-scan, things to identify would be the overlying deltoid that I've highlighted here, and then the underlying humerus, and you can see that nice bicipital groove with neutral rotation of the shoulder here. And then the biceps tendon runs directly in that bicipital uh, groove um, in that valley. Um, now what I'm going to show here in the next scans is what I'm going to do is I'm going to again do some more internal and external rotation, but once I've centered the biceps tendon, I'm just going to sort of move or toggle the probe, and the tendon's going to become uh, anechoic. And so what you can do is by toggling the probe, you can take advantage of anisotropy to make the biceps tendon anechoic to make it more apparent to you. Um, so that's a tip. And again, here I'm just making it, again, back to being more hyperechoic. Um, and again, sitting there in the bicipital groove. Um, so the next scan, uh, I've actually flipped the orientation of the probe. Um, but what I've done here is I put on the Doppler um, so that you can see the uh, blood flow of the circumflex artery. Um, so that pulsatile flow. Um, and so I'm going to label it here uh, in a second. Um, uh, so here we are here, it's labeled uh, there, and there's that blood vessel. So when you're doing your injection, you want to make sure that you avoid this. And again, we typically find it on the lateral aspect uh, of the bicipital groove. And again, the left and right have been flipped on this image compared to the previous ones. And then when I guide my needle, if I think about where I want to guide my needle, if we use that white line, that's how I'm trying to guide it. I'm guiding it above that artery, superior and medial to the biceps tendon. And again, with the injection, I do like sort of toggling the probe to make that tendon more anechoic through anisotropy, so it's really very apparent. Um, so that's how I generally would, uh, would approach things. Now, you can also do these injections sort of in long axis. So here I am, I've got the biceps tendon in the short axis, and then I'm rotating the probe 90 degrees to bring things into long access. So I'm going to uh, 
label it here in a second. There's the biceps tendon. So you could do an injection in plane, guiding the needle just above the biceps tendon in the sheath if you were considering um, doing the injection this way. Um, so that sort of concludes our videos today. Uh, I'm the neuromuscular mechanic. Uh, hopefully you found today's video uh, about biceps tendon sheath injections handy. Uh, thank you and take care.